Hi friends, this is Gautam Braj. In this video tutorial, I will explain the concept of Frame Relay. Frame Relay is a layer to WAN protocol. For what purpose we can use Frame Relay concept means, it provides the features such as dynamic allocation of bandwidth and conjunction control. Let's we can see. Here there are two topologies are there least reliance and packet switched. Least reliance is said to be point to point connections or dedicated lines. Here router 0 and router 1 is a point to point connection. So in that interface we can allocate the bandwidth 100 Mbps. If router 0 and router 1 may be used that 100 Mbps bandwidth efficiently or may not be used. So if it is used 100 Mbps efficiently means it's ok but if it is not used 100 Mbps means it is a wastage only. So how that wastage can be overcome? So by using frame relay concept we can overcome that problem. Here packet switched. Frame relay is an, uh, is an fr packet switched network. Here this is a cloud. In cloud we have dozens of frame relay switches. Here we have lakhs and lakhs of bandwidths are there so depends upon our usage we can buy that bandwidth for example router 2 router 4 router 3 and here it is in router 5 for example router 2 wants the bandwidth of 100 mbps means they can buy 100 mbps if router 4 can want the bandwidth of 200 mbps means they can buy it 200 mbps so depends upon its usage they will buy that bandwidth for that purpose only we can use the frame relay concept so frame layers otherwise said to be a collection of DCE ends. Okay. Next frame relay terminologies. In frame relay terminologies, committed information rate, local access rate, local management interface, data link, connection identifier, and permanent virtual circuit. First we can see committed information rate. Here we can see committed information rate means if it is a minimum bandwidth we can buy it from that frame layer switches. For example router 2, router 4, router 3. Router 2 wants 200 Mbps, router 4 wants 500 Mbps and router 3 wants 300 Mbps means depends upon its usage they will buy it. But committed information rate indicates minimum bandwidth. For example here frame layer switch the minimum bandwidth is 100 Mbps means if the router 4 wants 50 Mbps means they cannot buy it from frame layer switches because minimum bandwidth is 100 Mbps. So committed information rate indicates the minimum bandwidth to buy it from that frame relay switches. Next local access rate. So local access rate indicates the maximum bandwidth buy it from that frame relay switches for example the maximum bandwidth is 1 gp means the router 2 can maximum they can buy it from cloud is 1 gp so that is an local access rate local management interface local management interface local management interface defines the signaling standard which is exchanged from dtn to dcn for example router 4 router 4 can be connected to the cloud so this is an dtn and this is an dcn so in between that the signaling standard can be defined that is an local management interface in local management interface we have two types of messages keep alive messages and status messages keep alive messages indicates that that access link that is this router 4 and cloud in between that interface can be is monitoring whether it is up or down that is and keep alive messages and status messages indicates that virtual circuit is up or down let's we can see that data link connection identifier data link connection identifier means it is an for example in local area network we can use the mac address to send the packet from source to destination but in frame relay concept we can use serial interface in serial interface it cannot be generated MAC address so using data link connection identifier only we can send the packets from source to destination so the del C range is 16 to 1007 so in that only we can give that range next permanent virtual circuit permanent virtual circuit permanent virtual circuit means 
it is and the permanent virtual circuit means the connection can be established permanent and switched virtual circuit means if the if you want to send the data means after sending the data the connection can be terminated that is a switched virtual circuit but in frame relay concept we can use permanent virtual circuit so permanent virtual circuit means this is a cloud router 4 can be connected to cloud and in any device the cloud can be connected to router 5 but in that cloud we can logically create the connection that is said to be a virtual circuit selecting and frame relay topologies so there are three types of topologies are there full mesh topologies partial mesh topologies and star hub and spoke topologies in full mesh topologies all the device can be connected to all other devices so here cost is expensive and redundancy can be occurred in partial mesh topologies some of the devices are connected to some other devices and some other devices are not connected to some other devices but here class is cost is less expensive when compared to the full mesh topologies star and hub and spoke topologies means this is hub and remaining is in spoke so here cost is less expensive when compared to the full mesh and partial mesh topology by default in frame relay it is a non-broadcast multi 